Tracking those big changes heading our way over the Mother's Day weekend after temperatures near 90 on Wednesday. We are now looking at highs only in the 60s by the time we wrap up this weekend. A few showers rolling through for our Friday, but what's going to happen is a much colder system is on the way. So that's really just the primer of the bigger changes we'll see by Sunday. Rain, snow, thunderstorms and much colder weather, but we've got a couple of weather impacts that are going to be happening prior to all those changes. The Mother's Day weekend starts off with cooler but breezy weather, and then Sunday is that chance for showers, and it kind of opens up the door for more weather changes happening. First, let's get to some of these uh, conditions with our breezy weather. We've got a high wind warning in effect for Saturday north of I-80. That will include parts of Plumas County, Lassen, and even into uh, Sierra County. Damaging winds, possible power outage and difficult travel. Now, as we expand this view, we've got our wind advisory in place around the Tahoe Basin, stretching down along the Sierra Spine into parts of the eastern side of the state. What's going to happen is that's going to get us into a situation where we actually have a red flag warning in effect on Sunday, expanding all the way through parts of the desert southwest. Low humidity, gusty winds, rapid fire spread. This is all happening where in the background, we've got those growing drought conditions, really particularly hard hit in New Mexico where we've had catastrophic uh, fire damage already and then into parts of east, uh, western Texas here. Keep in mind, this is all playing into parts of our water access, our power access, as we head deeper into our summer season when the rain pretty much shuts off here throughout California. As far as our drought status locally for the state, we really haven't seen too many changes over the past week, but now we head into a period where rain chances drop off, snow chances drop off pretty dramatically into our May and certainly June. By July, we get virtually no rain as well as August, even into most of September. It's not until October that we really start to open things up. So every little drop that we can take with this incoming system is going to help us just kind of prevent us getting into that peak wildfire season too early. We'll pick up close to a tenth of an inch for the valley, closer to a half an inch for the foothills. But keep in mind, we're going to see a much lower snow line with this. Snow will be coming down the hill, especially Sunday night into Monday, totaling 46 inches at Donner, uh, or I should say 6 to 8, and then 4 to 6 for Echo. Farther up the hill towards Lassen, we're looking at 12 to 18 inches of snow. Bring the chains, be prepared for possible travel delays. Now, what's really great about seeing that snow is once it melts, Gravity will take it down the hill, enter most of our rivers, which will eventually add in into many of our reservoirs, which are looking pretty good. Keep in mind, this is also peak snow melt time, so we're 82% full for one of those uh, smaller reservoirs, Folsom. Larger res reservoir, Shasta, 40% full, so we're not going to see the bigger uh, jumps in capacity or averages, but for Folsom, we're at 109% of average. We'll see that start to chip away within about the next month or so, just simply because once we get through this system, there's very little that starts to come through the pipeline. I know the timing isn't great considering that it is Mother's Day weekend, but we'll start the weekend off dry. It's on Sunday that we start to see some of those changes happening. Brunch time may be okay for most of us, but if you're traveling northward, we are going to be impacted early in the day with rain and snow developing, and that just expands throughout the entire region throughout our Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. We'll continue to see the showers, and for this year, We'll see that linger into Wednesday and Thursday as well with that snow line, like I said, starting off at about 4,500 to 5,000 feet and staying there through our Tuesday.